Welcome back everyone. This is Nate from Nate's Here and There coming to you from near or far. Today we are here. See the sign. We are here in Myrtle Beach. We're going to do a town tour of downtown. This is actually the downtown. Not over there where the on the other side of 17. This over here is actually the downtown. So what we're going to do is do a little, a little uh, video or walk through the town. So grab a chair. The state the Lord has made. Sit back and enjoy. This building right here is actually the Myrtle Beach City Hall. Here at 937 Broad Street. And this is the. Let me zoom in right quick. See up there, this is uh, City Hall. Pretty nice building. I'm just kind of surprised that this is not out there on 17, but like I said before, this is uh, the actual town is not out there on 17. Okay, let me say this. This out here, all this out here is actually the tourist track, a tourist part of Myrtle Beach. That's what I was meaning a while ago. Oh, that's the tourist uh, spots. You got your, your sky wheel and your amusement parks out here. And there's a thrift store right here on the corner. Chloe's Thrift, thrift Boutique. Shoes and accessory. And it's open. This next one, I think, is a pawn shop. Pawn shop right here. But it does not look like it's open. Now, right here at 1009 is printing the sunshine, printing the sign. And right here on the corner is Mr. Sub 19 since 1979. That's the billboard up here. Now that's the restaurant over here is a staple in Myrtle Beach. It is Mammy's Kitchen. And it's only open during the season. It closes the it's open from Memorial Day until Labor Day. And I knew something smelled good over here. Maryland fried chicken. Boy, it smells so good. I gotta come here one day and do a restaurant with you. At 939 Broadway Street. Now, they got a lot of these down through here. These alleyways for businesses. This actually comes out on Highway 17. I'm gonna walk out here and see if I can see the ocean. And it's really, really windy because It's, that's what it happens when it gets closer to winter time. It gets really, really windy out here. The ocean don't look too bad. Now, this is right here, Miss, Mrs. Microwave. And it's an actual business. I know where to thought that. Oh, it's coming soon. Microwave vacuum repair.
I don't know what this one is on the corner right here. This right here is a uh, Taekwondo. Or it was at one time. Sign up there says a Taekwondo at one time. Got a business on the side right here. 921. There's nothing in there. And this is the first Methodist church here in Marble Beach. It's a huge church. Now Myrtle Beach do have a population of around about 80,000 people lives here. So it's got a pretty good population for a town this size. And right here on the corner is Myrtle Beach Shoe Service. They make keys too. And right here is Red Wing Shoes. Right there. And this one is uh, hmm. New Sense. Gosh, your new sense. It's a scent bar for candles. They sell candles in here. And here's another one of these barbers. Hair by Midtown. The only thing this thing says right here is 517 building is City of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's all it says right here. But this one is a fitness. Oh, I'm going to keep going on this one. It's probably a gym. Yep, it's a gym. They got, they got um, this side of the street. This is 10th Avenue. Oh, four, 513 has nothing in it. And this right here is HTC Aspire Hub. I don't know what that is. Some kind of connect in. I don't know what that is. I thought it said pub at first. This is a bakery in this next one. La Manna. Bread and bakery. And this one is the Dolly Llama ice cream and waffles. I'll come up here and try this sometime. And this one is Boutique by VIP Latin Bar Cuisine. It's a bar, a pub. Oh, I like the piano in there. They got a park out here too. Pretty nice. Park. I have to show it to you. I like this right here on the side of this building. This mural on the side of this building right here. Pretty cool. With the palm trees. Brewing Company, JSB. They got uh, tables all out through here. They're playing music in the background, and I gotta talk kind of loud. But they got this kind of grass over here, like on these um, uh, golf courses out here. Put putt golf. That's really cool. They got a little archway right here. Like there was a building here at one time. They got kind of fixed up pretty nice with the brickwork. The lights. Only thing needs some chairs out here, but they got chairs out here. That's where your chairs are. And 
this one is 807 US 17 and it's a construction company or Mashburn yeah Mashburn construction right here and this one is Vex Skylights mailboxes and it's uh keys and locks and that's it a little alleyway right here it says no parking one-way street right here now I'm actually on 501 I walked uh, about a block over I'm on 501 and this one right here it's not here anymore Winona's Winona's kitchen La Playa at 815 Five, uh, US 501 now this one right here I don't know what this is but I like the pictures and the windows pictures in the windows looks really cool backing up I don't see no sign up here oh like the art uh, yard work big old, big old thermoses I mean uh, vases well, I said thermos now what is this? It says construction area. You are here. Arts Invocation Myrtle Beach. It's padlocked. Hmm. And I think this is another construction company. Oh wow. Let me show you this. There's nothing in here. You can see all the way through. That building's completely gone inside. Danger of construction. Do not. No trespassing. And this one, like this, been shut down for a good long time. It's for sale. Gary Roberts. I don't know what this, what it was. Could have been a thrift store. I think this one's open. No, this is a bar. Sun City Cafe. No, it's a, it's a, it's a cafe. It's open. I seen. Uh, it's an open sign. Now this right here is cell phone, simple mobile. Yeah, and they open. I don't need cell phones. The venue at 510 is closed. That's what it says. Now here at 512, this is closed. This right, next one is a homestyle restaurant, and it's Jamaican. Homestyle Jamaican restaurant. This next one is Mexican grocery. It's a Mexican grocery store here at 516. Now, there looks like there was a, once a store right here in this yard. And there is evidence of it right here. The brickwork. But it's gone. And like there was two of them. One of them was connected to this building. Uh, 
in, I don't know what this building right here is on the corner. Oh, Myrtle Beach Real Estate. That's what it says in the window. That goes some of the public transportation here. This is pizza. Kind of calzones and desserts here on Oak Street, North Oak Street. But it don't look like it's open though. Now you can tell the wind is really blowing. If you look at the flags, you can see they're really blowing in the wind. And I seen this crawl when I was walking back to the van. Because I gotta do this. Get in the van, drive, get in the van, drive. This this downtown is huge. But this uh mural, I just now noticed it. And it's art by Chelsea Hart. I see the sun, the ocean and the sun. And the girl, and there's some waves. And I guess this one on here is shopping. It could be, you could interpret it in two different ways, shopping or business. And this over here is the train depot of Myrtle Beach. They got a plaque right here. Explaining. The Con uh, Conway and Seashore Railroad, later the Conway Coast and Western was constructed in 1900 to haul logs, naval stores, and produce. It also improved access to the beach for vacationers as the resort began to grow. In 1926, the land was taken over by the Atlantic Coast ALC ACL Railroad, which brought full services to Myrtle Beach by 1930s. The railroad delivered building supplies and construction, new homes and later furniture and food and successful operation. Railroad improvements were deemed necessary in 1934 by Mr. Simon B. Chapman, a well-known financer and uh, he was a financer of the early 1900s and noted that the building a new railroad station near the spur track that would enter from the airport to inter intercoastal waterway where freight yards could be placed he stated that the tracks would bring much freight and many people from the air and the water and craft to Myrtle Beach in 1936 a CL Railroad Company sold Myrtle Beach Farms Company and land for sale for one dollar to build a, I'm serious, that's what it says, one dollar to build a new depot and new ACL Railroad Station was dedicated on March, May 6, 1937 although the station has the similar floor plans of the standard bi-level ACL Railroad number two depot. The exterior architecture is more elegant than the other ACL stations featured elements related to continental revival, craftsman, and mission styles. The ACL Railroad Station was used both freight and passenger service in the 1950s. In addition to tourist servicemen and Myrtle Beach Army airfields, also often arrived by train. The passenger service of the Myrtle Beach discontinued in 1925 to service in 1967. This is the photo of it. Uh, 
passenger train. And this is a photo of the building itself. It says no trespassing, so I'm not going to go over there. But I am going to walk out here on the railroad. The railroad ends right here. I figured, oh yeah, they got train cars out here. They have train cars out here. And that's the rail. And it ends right over there. Where that picture shown was showed. Showed where it, it ended right up here. It's quite amazing. business or yeah 17 business now and you'll see a lot of these beach stores all down through here you'll see Pacific they'll have uh, wings uh, this is a pretty good restaurant right here uh, Harry's breakfast and pancakes we ate there one time it was pretty good and also what you're going to run into a lot of times downtown is a lot of putt-putt golf and the pancake houses. That's one thing that Myrtle Beach is known for is the pancake houses and the putt-putt golf. Right here is a uh, spot I'd love to go do a restaurant review at, North Carolina Pizza Kitchen and Bar and Grill. I'd love to go there. This next restaurant up here, well, restaurant chain, I should say, is Calabash Seafood Buffet. It's a really, I mean, to me, I like crab legs. So I love um, I love going to those places. So you get your crab legs, your and then it has a regular style buffet, so if you want to eat other foods, you can. It's just it kind of it is kind of expensive. Now, there's another thing they have down here a lot is Sugar Life ice cream and candy bar, which I need to stay away from. I don't need it. Another one is Johnny Johnny D's waffles. I would love to try that sometime. Right, you see right here I miss doing this if you've never been to Myrtle Beach down here on the left is Restaurant Road what they call Restaurant Road you got Benjamin's Calabash Seafood then you got the Giant Crab and then the next one is Calabash Seafood which you got Chuck's Steakhouse in the uh, middle of all these there used to be a Chinese restaurant right here and they tore it down. But this is called uh, Restaurant Road. Just let's let you know if you've never been down here before. I think that's going to be it for this one. I know this looks kind of crazy. Me driving, finishing the video. My wife's filming it. So. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit your bell to notify you on upload videos just like this one. Like, share, and comment on the videos. With all that said, be safe, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. And remember to let go 
and let God. Bye now.